Hey guys, welcome to the All Around Joe Podcast. We optimize your human performance from my personal experience as an athlete, coach, and all-around self-improvement junkie. On this edition of the All Around Joe Podcast, I'm going to be giving you an update and talking about all of the routines and habits that are making my life a success right now. First of all, I have not delivered a consistent podcast since February when I was in Steamboat Springs walking around in the snow. And it just got to be a lot for me as I was trying to grow the YouTube channel, doing the additional podcast, although it does go to YouTube, so I should have continued to do it anyway. I was just feeling a little bit like I hadn't had a lot of big successes in the podcast for quite a while after doing like, see, we're on episode 278. So for a while, it was growing really well. People were sharing it. It was getting a lot of publicity. And then things just started to dive off. And I think that maybe it had to do with iTunes or some other podcast source changing their algorithm and it just didn't help me. I was doing something wrong. So I needed to take a little bit of break away from the podcast in order to kind of rejuvenate my love for the teaching and coaching. I've had a couple people reach out to me and ask me to continue doing it. So thank you to you guys that have done that. That's very helpful and it gets me motivated to go through this because although there are some things that come from this podcast, it's not always that fruitful and it takes a lot of time to do it. So one thing that you can do that would be super helpful if you like this podcast is make sure that you share the Get Better Project, my online at-home training program with friends and family that you think would be helpful or would, could use an online training program. Basically what it is, you sign up and we still have it set up so you can pay what you can afford. All right. We recommend about $40 a month, but if you can only afford five or 10 bucks a month, that's totally cool. And we start everybody off with two free weeks so they can check it out. The program, you get daily workouts levels one through five. So level one is totally basic beginner. We've got some people that are doing that level one that have not done hardly anything for themselves fitness wise for years and they're in their sixties. Then we have people that are doing level two that are getting a little bit more momentum. Level three are the workouts that Emily and I do when we're in the van with 50 and 35 pound dumbbells. You do not have to use 50 and 35 pound dumbbells, but they're based off of dumbbell only workouts. Then we have level four, which is at home gym style training or workout program where we're expecting you to have pretty much all of the equipment that would be needed for a, a fully uh, stocked home gym. Then level five is a competitor program. So we get pretty crazy, pretty heavy stuff in the competitor program. So if you could share that though, that would be awesome. And it's, the two free weeks are at thegetbetterproject.com slash two weeks. And people can get started. They can check it out. We also have unlimited access to myself. So if you're in the program, you can ask me any question, anytime, help you with your macros, answer questions about what you should eat for dinner, anything. I mean, really help you dial it in and get to really, really any place that you would like to go for the most part. I mean, we even coached the 65 plus year old CrossFit Games champion this year. So, you know, we can do a few things if you want help with that. But anyway, getting back to what we've been up to or what I've been up to over the last, gosh, like six months or so now, we have traveled a lot, been mountain biking a lot. I got a mountain bike that I absolutely love in the Rebel Rascal, which is super cool. It's a 29er, been mountain biking, using our fitness for that a whole heck of a lot all over Colorado. We've been to places like Winter Park, Moab, Grand Targhee, McCall, Idaho, Bend, Oregon, Hood River, up here in the Pacific Northwest, right? And at like Tiger Mountain, you know, and many other places, uh, Fruit of Colorado, gotta check that out, Grand Junction area, all kinds of good places we've been around riding over this last summer and fall area. And then we've basically taken our time to come back up to the Pacific Northwest for the fall before we get back into it. Actually, we'll go to Hawaii for a couple of weeks here coming up and then back into the winter season where we're going to spend time in Colorado again for the winter chasing snow. So we got our battery just upgraded in the van. I need to do a whole video on that. Oh, I don't want to forget. We ran the Leadville 26.2 marathon in Leadville, Colorado in June for my 41st birthday, which was awesome because we had a great group of friends come out and do that with us. It was, it was a hard one, but it was super fun. We actually did better than our goal pace, meaning Emily and I. So, and everybody in our group finished 
It was quite the experience, highly recommend it. I've always wanted to do the Leadville 100, but I don't know that I'm ready to get myself down to that low body fat, or not body fat, but low body weight right now at this point in my life because it feels good to be nice and strong. So I don't know how some of these guys have done it where they keep a ton of muscle mass on during that training. I, every time that I start getting into training, above probably like 20 or 30 miles a week, my body tends to just like drop muscle, like it's going out of style. So I don't know that that's something that I would like to get into right now. We also bought a Rogue Echo bike to keep here at our home in the Pacific Northwest, and that has been super cool. If you have space or ability to get a Rogue Echo bike, highly recommend it. It's gonna be one of the best $700, $800 that you spend in a long time if you use it because it gives you back fitness tenfold for sure. But getting back into the current routines and habits that are working for me right now and I want to share with you. And if you have any questions about these things, please put them in the comment section below because the commenting below actually helps me to get momentum on these podcasts and these videos. If you're watching this or if you're listening to this, you can always send me an email at joe at allinerjoe.com and that's cool, but it helps me more if you put them in the comment section wherever you are listening to or watching this video. And as you know, SEO, traction, all that stuff so I can help to grow and get more people listening and watching so I can help more people because that is my mission, that is my goal. So the first thing on my list here is the Holosync meditation. Now, although this is kind of a longer meditation, I do it for an hour a day, I've noticed that if I give up that hour to do it, everything else pretty much improves, meaning that I feel better, I mentally and physically, I am less irritable, I'm happier, and it's actually pretty enjoyable. The downside though, and I've been on and off this for many years because of that hour. If you're a, an, an achiever, you have things going on, an hour is quite a lot of time. But if you consider the amount of time people spend watching TV every day or week or whatever, an hour is not really that long, or the lack of sleep they get, an hour is really not that long. So I've just decided to nut up and do it for an hour a day and it is going it has been very beneficial so i highly recommend it it's holosync i'm on the level two right now it is game changing and one thing that i do with that is i put on our juve red light and do that for about 30 minutes of the hour so i'm getting the red light therapy front and back as i do the, the meditation so double dip in there Highly recommend it. It's been very beneficial for all kinds of things, meaning the red light. Like I was able to run the marathon. I guarantee it just because of the red light. My Achilles was so tight and inflamed that I was thinking about dropping out of the Leadville Marathon as the training was going on. But implementing that for about 15 minutes a day was a game changer. And I was able to actually recover my Achilles and calves and do the marathon, like I said, in a time that was faster than I was even expected. The Prolon five-day fasting mimicking diet, I know I've talked about this quite a bit, but if you haven't done that, you gotta give it a shot. It is nothing but beneficial. I mean, for five days, you have a kit of food that they give you so you don't have to think about it. It's the benefits of water only fasting, but better for you, and you actually get to eat something, so that's cool. And then there's all these benefits, mental, physical, uh, clarity, energy gets bumped up. I always feel like I'm more motivated. You lose a ton of body fat. I usually lose about eight to 10 pounds. Although you don't wanna lose the muscle, it's been shown that the muscle mass actually stays with you as you do that. It is highly, highly effective. There's even some studies that show that you have stem cell production, you get cell autophagy, so you clean out your body. It is all good stuff. And we do this every six months. We could even do it you know, every four or five months if we wanted to. It just seems to work out about every six months. And that's what they told us to do. If you're a healthy individual, that every six months is cool. If you're not healthy, you could do it about every month or even, gosh, maybe even more than that. You'd have to contact Prolon. Um, you go to Prolon, P-R-O-L-O-N-F-M-D.com to get any information on that. They often have some pretty good sales on the fasting kits and I would recommend stocking up whenever you see one of those sales because these things are rocking. We're going to do them for the foreseeable future. We've done it five times so far and just don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I'm also doing a daily gratitude journal. I've done this almost every day for about three plus years now and it's super simple. It is asking questions every morning. What am I grateful for? I just answer what comes to mind. What would make today awesome? 
answer what I think would make today awesome. Obviously, what are my goals? And there's one that I added in. So I'm just keeping my goals front of mind. And then what awesome happened today? And I answer that one at about 7 or 8 p.m. when I have alarms or reminders set in my phone for each of them. So I get a reminder at 8 a.m. and then at 8 p.m. for filling those out. So then if I don't do it, then I've got this reminder that's pinging me constantly in order to get it done. Now, I don't know that it's a huge benefit, but it just gets your day started off on the right foot, gets you thinking about the right things. And there's you know, a lot of evidence that shows that it's very positive if you're doing that. You can even write other things in there like, this is how I'm feeling, and you can just you know go to town if you feel like that would be better. It leaves you open to adjust it based off what you'd like to. If you've got a busy day coming up, you're feeling good, you just fill out a couple of bullet points and you're good to go. So that's been working for me for a long time and huge takeaway. I just do it in my phone or computer in my notes app. You don't have to actually write it down. I used to carry a journal around. I'd lose a journal. It didn't really work for me, but it's, if it's digital, it works really great. I am still tracking all of my food in my fitness pal. I've been doing this and coaching people on it for 20 plus years, and that is the only best way to actually know what you're eating and get the results that you really want. You could get lucky, but who wants to get lucky? Let's actually track things. If you want them to improve, track them. So it takes me less than five minutes, and it can take you less than five minutes too. Once you get into the routine, you just make sure that you have your macros and goals set, which if you're in the Get Better Project, I can totally help you out with that. I do it for everybody that's in there. Then you can just follow along, enter things in. I usually have it where I set it up to just track right before dinner. And then I know that when that's tracked, I probably or usually have a few things to fill in. So that could be that I need to have extra fat, extra carbs, or extra protein. And I just go ahead and fill those in with my quote unquote dessert, which my dessert is not sweet. Usually it's you, it, a lot of times I need more extra carbs. So I'm eating like oatmeal with blueberries or raspberries and a banana, something like that as my dessert. Or maybe I need a protein shake or maybe I need a handful of mixed nuts. So there's no way of knowing it. I've literally been doing this for years and years and years and it keeps me feel good, keeps me looking good, keeps lets me know when things are off. So I try and do it six to seven days a week. Every once in a while, if I'm feeling like I need a break, I just take a break, but then I hop right back on it. And all the successful people that I know of that are doing fitness and all this health stuff successfully, they're tracking. It does like, who doesn't have five minutes a day? I know that some people get a little bit in their head about this, but they shouldn't. It is super easy. And if it's something that you're stressing about, you need to look into deeply why that is because it is not hard to do. And the last thing, like I mentioned earlier, we're still doing the Get Better Project and I do the Get Better Project based off of my own routine. So I'm doing it five days a week. We are doing it five days a week. We add in not only the regular one through five workouts, but then there's also strength, optional strength pieces. There's finishers, there's conditioning, and there's even an uh, functional bodybuilding routine that I believe that every now and again it's good to dip into that or if you want to gain some extra muscles faster than what a high intensity style workout could get you then you get into that. Those are the things that I'm doing on a consistent basis in order to have success right now and that you can implement in your life as well. I'm going to put the links to everything that I talked about down below in the notes section so you can get to those links quickly and efficiently. And you can always reach out to me if you have any questions about these things. So I'm going to get back to trying to do this podcast once a week. If you have any things that you would like me to talk about, I'm happy to do so, but I'm going to be coming up with these things and getting them out to you once a week as I can. If you'd like to get started on the Get Better Project for yourself, get two free weeks. Go over to the, there's a the on the front, thegetbetterproject.com slash two weeks. And we would love to have you get started. Check out the program. You get access to the app. You get access to me. You get access to our private Slack group. It is just a cool, fun community. And we actually, the average person on the Get Better Project stays with us for over a year. And we still have people that are just continuously going for much longer than a year. So if that doesn't tell you anything, then I don't know what does. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this podcast. I hope you would share it with your friends or give me the likes or the thumbs ups or whatever you have available to you, wherever you're consuming it. And we will see you next week. The All Around Joe podcast, where we optimize your human performance, my personal experience as an athlete, coach, and all around self-improvement junkie. We'll see you on the next podcast.